G'day guys, currently still on lockdown, of course, here in Melbourne. I thought I'd start this one off with something pretty amazing. Now, as most of you know, I like to absolutely clean the shit out of my cars and I clean them a lot, very often. After most drives, I will clean the car that I've just driven. Now, with the Evo, I've spent a lot of time on the interior of this car cleaning it up. And I thought, oh, there's a bit of a dirty patch on the uh, roof lining here, so I'll go over it. Now check this shit out. Now you may think your car is clean, but this is insane. So, I will start with this perfectly clean white old sock I have here. Spray a bit of water down the greaser on it. And check this shit out. That is absolutely disgusting. So now, I've opened the can of worms here and I'm gonna have to do the whole roof lining. And while I'm in the mood for cleaning, I was just watching one of uh, Zach Baldy's videos actually, where he's pulled his boot apart in his 33 GDST and he's cleaning all that stuff up. So it gave me the idea to do the same thing with the Evo. So I've got the tail lights out, all the boot stuff out. And as you can see, It is filthy in here, so I'm gonna go over everything, vacuum, degrees, clean, all inside here, all under here, and get it nice and clean like the van. And that's about as good as it's gonna get. I did put some etch primer here over a little bare metal spot that I don't want to start rusting, especially in the back of these that are prone, really prone to rust. Come out pretty good. I cannot get these stains off this bottle, which is a shame, but that's, it's all covered anyway, but I know it's here, so I want it all clean. So I'll put it back together and move on to something else. And even though it looked really clean, as things usually do, this was a brand new microfiber when I started doing the boot. So that just shows you how dirty it is. Now one question I do actually get a lot of, probably the most asked question I get is what product do I use when I'm always doing this cleaning stuff in the cars? Well, unfortunately it's just in this, but it is just watered down degreaser. Now when I say degreaser, I don't mean like this spray can shit. I mean like proper, I actually get it from my work. We buy it in like 100 litre drums. So next time I'm at work, I will take a picture and update you all on what the product actually is. And that's the finished product. Probably looks exactly the same as it did at the start to you guys through the camera, but big world of difference. Now, ideally I would like to find new ones of these as whoever cut them for the rear strut brace did an absolute shit house job. Also, this is, um, all this stuff's pretty stuffed and all, even the board underneath is sort of collapsed in the middle, so it's like that. There is a lot of things I want to do to this car cleanup wise, especially interior. Um, but I just want to get the VN back running and driving again because, as I've said a million times, a not driving car is absolutely useless and I hate it. So all my time and money is going into the van at the moment and then I can come back to the Evo and do more cleanup stuff. And while we're on the topic of unrelated things, I had to remove these mud flaps off the ute because they were sitting like here. I couldn't even get my foot under and even just driving out of my driveway, I was scraping the shit out of it. It was getting very, very annoying. Even with a bit of stuff in the back, the rear ones were on the ground as well, as you can see here on the bottom. So mud flaps are now gone. So as I mentioned previously, I knew I was going to open a can of worms with um, seeing how dirty this roof lining was on the Evo, so 
I went and got the wet vac from work. Could not help myself. And now the task of pulling this roof liner out. I was going to have a go at it in the car, but I think it's just going to make a mess. So I'll just pull it out. I am worried though how I'm going to get it out. I'm going to assume on an angle through this front door, but there we go. getting the roof lining out somehow without breaking it or bending it. Oh, actually quite simple. <laughs> so now that it's out, you can actually see how filthy this roof lining is. So look under here how bright grey it is, yeah? Under where the sun visor usually sits. And look at that. That's feral. Now this isn't bored like most cars, it's like a plastic. So I should be able to wet vac this with no dramas. Now I've let it sit with a mixture of this extraction stuff that's for these with some oil and grease stain remover that you use on your clothes. There's warm water in here. And I've also sprayed over it some of the degrees that I clean and everything else with. Now I'm gonna agitate. Well, I'd like to do the whole thing, but that'd take forever. And the brush I've got is a bit too coarse. I reckon I'll stuff the material instead of cleaning it. So I'm just gonna go over the big areas with this. Now while I let this sit out here and dry in the sun, we'll move on to the bad part about this video. Now, if you know Evos, especially Evo 5s and 6s, they are very prone to rust. Now, this slight indication of what we're about to uncover. Now I have known about this from the start. I had this car up on the hoist before I bought it to make sure it had no rust, which it did. Uh, not very bad compared to some that I've seen, which I'll, in, I'll put some pictures up, you know, scattered around the screen here of how bad these can get in the rear end. It's how I got this car for the price I got it for. And I have no problem with, you know, fixing a bit of rust. It just goes with getting an Evo, unfortunately. Uh, so one of those really easy spots to get to, I'm going to do today. So I'm going to pull the back seats out. I'm going to cut a plate, cut the piece out uh, that's rusted. You'll see this nice hole. And uh, I'm going to head over to Mini so he can weld it up and then I'll seal it and paint it and uh, good as new. The joys of being small, I can hop around in this thing like a monkey. And here reveals our rust spot. So thank God it's a very, very easy spot to get to. I'm actually going to drill it with the wheel off. Uh, from inside the wheel well. I'm just going to do a perfect circle with a hole saw and then I'll use that hole saw to cut another section exactly the same size and Mini can weld it in for me. I thought I may as well do this back seat as it's the only part of the interior that I have not wet vacked since owning the car. So, while well, I've got the machine, why not?
Now I always love showing this because it's unbelievable how dirty stuff is. So this is just from the roof lining and the back seat. So the whole plan was to hole saw this rust out as then you could transfer that exact same hole saw onto a scrap piece of metal and get the exact same shape, size, everything and weld it back in. Now that wasn't going to work because the rust hole was already about that big and you don't have the drill bit in the middle to be able to centralise the, the hole saw, it just jumps around everywhere. So we had to go a square with a cutting disc on the grinder, so it came out really good. So as you can see, it will do, it sort of goes like that. So it'll have a bit of a shape on the bottom. The rest is just a perfect square. Uh, I've grinded all the sealing off. So Mini's got something to weld to. It is two layers. So we'll have to do one inside as well. Grinded all the stuff off in there. Now this gives me absolute bloody anxiety that it's this dirty inside. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean, wash my hands and put the roof liner back in because it's such a light color. Even if your hands are just the tiniest bit dirty, you get it all over the roof line. So this is where I'm finishing up for the day. So this is all done. Interior's all clean. Roof lining's back in and nice and clean. Now it's not just about like it looking different, just the smell. Like just think that this car is almost 25 years old and you know, picture back in 1999, some guy probably bought this brand new like, look at the colour, the car would have been the hottest thing going around. He probably picked up a few girls. Who knows how many Japanese girls have been banged in the back of this thing. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I always do interiors when I get a car. Because who the hell knows what has gone on in this car before it made its way to me. Unfortunately, we had one casualty. I broke that surround. Unfortunately, a good thing about these Evos is a lot of the interior is uh, just normal Lancer. So that should be very easy to get or I might even order a brand new one. And just to show you what was cut out for the rust. So this was the hole. Very, very common in Evos from to rust in the back and the floor. Now there is another spot on this car that I knew about also that I spotted when I bought it and put it up on the hoist. A bit more serious, like in a really shitty spot, the whole rear end's going to have to be dropped out of the car. We'll do that at a later date. It's very tiny at the moment, so I do want to get to it ASAP, but, you know, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to pack up. Uh, obviously leave the seats out because Mini's going to weld this up on Monday. Pick it up there at Mini's shop. We'll do a run through of all the cars that are there as usual. So after like an hour of in the car, out of the car, under the car, these are my two rust repair plates. Now I'll show you where they're going to go. So this is the one inside the villa. So if you're wondering what the two holes are, they're just sort of do plug welds as these have factory plug welds all the way down here so do the same thing fits nice and snug so that's the outer and this is the inner now it doesn't cover the whole thing because it follows a seam along here like factory and same with the plug welds that it should have their factory now i'm no panel beater um, i just do what i can do with the tools i have and the knowledge i have I'm sure there's better ways to go about this, but I like to try and do everything myself. I sealer it, undercoat it, rust treat it and everything, so you should never know that that is ever there, this repair. Back here at Mini's Paint and Panels, as you can see, and we're doing the rust repairs on the Evo. <laughs> yeah. I didn't film actually doing it because I did about three of them. Oh, really? <laughs> the one was like, you'd go too far and then, you know, the gap was like a fucking centimetre around it. A little bit of a gap's all right. So while Mini's welding that, everyone seems to like seeing what cars are here every time I come here. A very, very low G6C turbo. That obviously does a couple of skids. 33 GDST. Got Ben's S13 over there. 
a very very nice FD in for engine bay paint uh, this VNSS that you saw me strip combi van Supra 32 GDST this Monaro is finished Thirty two, two sixty, A eighty six. This is going to be black and white. This, this is the fucking best car here. Yeah. If you don't know what this is, this is a thirty one Passage, which means IRS rear end and no, and no center pillar. Very, very cool car. Still can't believe this car's here. And also, if you don't know, these come with red top RB20s that have these finned valve covers that are bloody expensive now. I've got a set of my Sephiro that I paid $100 for. These are now $1,000 rocker covers. This is actually a silver top going by this, um, but it's got the red top covers. So very, very cool car. I actually used to have one of these. I will put a photo up here at the moment. And I had to get rid of it because I didn't have room for it. And it was a factory manual turbo one as well. So I spewing I had to get rid of that car. But anyway, back to the rust repairs. Yeah. Is that all right where I got it? Yeah. Alright, so in here is all done. He's gonna seam sealer it and then uh, blow the like Raptor liner stuff sort of over it so it looks factory. And it's a bit late in the day, I'm gonna grind all this down with like a belt sander as I don't wanna use a flappy disc in here, it's gonna sparks go everywhere and probably destroy the roof lining and glass and stuff like that. So we'll leave the inside for another day. Now Mini did explain to me that when this stuff dries it shrinks back so you might get some spots like that where you can still see underneath it but I'm going to come back this Saturday to um, grind down all this as it's getting too late in the day Mini wants to go home and uh, we'll give this another coat under here as well You watch that, no one's ever going to say that was ever damaged in the inside all right, so I'm back here today at Minis, finishing off the rust repairs. We'll ground down all the welds nice, or well, as good as we can get in this very tight spot. I'm gonna brush sealer over it, or primer it, brush sealer over it, and then flick a bit of the reams blue, uh, so it looks like factory. We looked up the paint code and it doesn't come up being an import on the MIPA system, so I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna match it to a, um, a paint swatch, like off one of these things. Cause it's down here anyway, no one's ever gonna see it in its lifetime, so close is good enough. So this is the colour we've settled on. It's about as close as we're gonna get. We're just gonna blow some in here so it looks like factory. You got the chicken? And McFlurry, me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, quarter pounder, that was Ben. A triple cheeseburger. Meal? Meal. Large triple cheeseburger yeah. meal, large fries, large cake. That's it? <laughs> With a $300 order, $250. <laughs> $86 order. <laughs> so what do we do to seal like? Yeah, I'm gonna put this stuff in it. Oh, same. All right, so we're waiting for this to dry. 
I've done another coat under here of stone guard, so that's all done, and the wheel can go back on, and under here is all done. All right, so all dry. I'm the idiot that touched it while it was still wet. Very, very happy with that. What the hell? <laughs> Is there somewhere? <laughs> oh God. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this one. Super happy with that repair. Go home, put everything back together. See you guys next week. Hey, go. Oh. <laughs>